of God's covenant with man. The distance between God and the Creator is so great that although reasonable creators do our obedience unto Him as their Creator, yet they could never have any fruition of Him as their blessed as, as their blessedness and reward, but by somewhat voluntary condensation of God's part, of God's part, which He had been pleased to express by way of covenant. The first covenant made with, the, with man was a covenant of works, wherein life was promised to Adam in him to, to, his, to his posterior posterity upon condition of perfect and personal obedience. Man, by his fall, having made himself incapable of life by that covenant, the Lord was pleased to make a second, commonly called the covenant of grace, wherein he freely offered unto sin unto sinners unto, unto sinners life and salvation by Jesus Christ, requiring of them faith in him that they may be saved, and promising to give unto all those that are ordained unto life his Holy Spirit to make them willing and, and able to believe. This covenant of grace is frequently set forth in the scripture by the narrator of this of, the, uh, of a testament in her in reference to that of Jesus Christ, the testator, and to the everlasting inheritance with all things belonging to it therein be created. This covenant was differently administered in the, in the time of the law and in the time of the gospel. Under the law, it was administered by promises, prophecies, sacrifice, circumcision, the Paschal Lamb, and other types of ordinance delivered to the post people of Jews, all for, si all for signifying Christ to come, which were for the time sufficient efficacious through the operation of the Spirit to instruct and build up they the lay in faith in promised Messiah, by whom they had full remission of sins and eternal salvation, and is called the and is called the Old Testament. Under the gospel, when Christ the substance was exhi was exhibited, the ordinances in which the, this covenant is dispensed are the preaching of the word and that administration of the sacraments of baptism and the Lord's of and the Lord's Supper, which, to fewer in number, and administered with more simplicity and less outward glory, yet in them it is held forth in more fullness, evidence, and spiritual efficacy to all nations, both Jews and Gentiles, and is called the New Testament. There are not, therefore, two covenants of grace, is the, of grace differing in substance, but one and the same under various dispensations.